Hello and welcome back again my friend to the SP500 analysis so as you see that the SP500 where we are now we are very close to break that last high here so now where is the SP500 going to go did we are going to break that 2020 high or from here we're going to reverse to know exactly where is the SP500 the Nasdaq 100 and the DXY going make sure to watch the video from the start till the end and don't try to skip nothing so let's start our listen of today by the way before we even start you yes you watching me now are you not yet subscriber why my friend make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the bell notification on to receive all our latest updates and videos it's not something hard just a subscribe button down click at it next to it a bell turn it all so like that when you put in a new video you're going to be notified or you can even join our vip discord where we give a long term investment signals in the sp500 plus we selling cover calls and pots because depending on the market situation also we choosing to sell pots or calls those days we sell in the pots that friday it's expire one worthless and i keep my premium even i'm going to sell one in monday even you can benefit from those things my friend if you are interested and by the way it's not expensive it's only five bucks if you are interested the link is it down in the description of that video you done it welcome to the family so guys as you see that the sp500 here we stay in sideways here look how many days here now what shall we do if you remember what me i told you here i came lower here to that low here i told if any candle came and breaking down here in that level here we need to enter a short and i told you for the long we got here that mega fall like that as you see it i was started from that one that one and that one here so till now we haven't breaking above here for us to enter a long and we haven't breaking down here in that level for us to enter a short so we need to wait until the right time that the only thing i can tell you i can show you here a wage uh, a lot of price action but me tell them fox just about that megaphone here where it's going to be broken and that week is a very 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 busy week guys so you need to be careful now let's see our indicator we're saying our indicator you remember i told you we got here down here a divergence like that as you see it very clear divergence here if you came like that from that peak that one here to the one here we got here a divergence even now here in that place where we are we got a divergence should we enter short based on a divergence no my friend also we don't enter based on a indicator indicators us we just using them as filters but us we base our trade on price action it's need the market to fall down to break that level here for us to enter a short tail now there is nothing and even the vix it's very low that man there is no scarness no fair and the market is going to go more higher guys everything is too clear now it's going to see the coming news for all the weeks so it's going there there we are guys that the coming news for all the week in monday what we got we got that one here 10 year not action that one it will not affect a lot the stock market in tuesday we got a busy day in tuesday we got the cpi data of usa or inflation data as you see it over here the forecast it show is going to come 3.1 the previous one it used to be 3.2 if it came like that that very very good news that's my inflation Inflation it falling down, but it's very slow, and that's what me I tell it to you in the first. Now, as you see it, guys, in front of you. Then we got in the same day 30 years bond action. So even that one, you need to be careful, guys, about it because us now we are in the end of the year even that one you need to be very 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 careful about that and wednesday what we got as you see it here and wednesday we got the gdp of uk ppi of usa crude oil inventory for usa and the most important thing fed interest rate decision as you see at the forecast here the fed is going to keep interest rate double they are not going to increase or to reduce they are going to pause as you see it is going to come here at six o'clock gmt time the new change you with your local time no matter where you are plus we got our friend is going to come jerome powell to talk and that one it affect the market more than the interest rate so even that thing you need to be careful about it as you see the interest rate decision is going to come at six o'clock and fed press conference is going to come at 7 30 
GMT time then you change it with your local time in Thursday what we got we got the Bank of England interest rate deposit facility rate for the eurozone plus the ECB interest rate or the eurozone interest rate even that one you need to be focused about that plus we got core retail sales for USA initial jobless claim and retail sales even in Thursday we got a very 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 busy day until now it's a very very busy week we got the cpi interest rate of uh, usa interest rate of uk interest rate of the eurozone and the retail sales friday is going to be a countdown day we just got that one sp global service pmi that one it will not affect the market a lot so you need to be careful guys here our friend the table of us also we're looking at it every day here as you see it here all your stocks they started the week green but good news our friend down here the vex canis and the fair they are very very low as we are 12 that meant that the lowest it can reach to it the vex historically the vex it always reached to 12 is only once it reached to 9 that meant for people the selling premium now or the selling options or the trading options let's make it like that premium they are very 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 low those days so even that one you need to be focused about that but if you want to trade options with us and those things you can join us i tell you all those things i think everything is too clear guys here i'm not going to see the sp500 was doing today in 30 minutes so let's go in there here we are in 30 minutes guys over here is only for helping and day trading here in 30 minutes in the sp500 what we got look with me here if you came and you connecting those dots like that and you came to that one here and that one like that and you do in here like that you got a very very clear wage that one if any candle breaking above here you need to enter a long if any candle came and breaking down here you need to enter a short so tell now there is no break up no breakdown and you need to wait until the right time and where is the sp500 going to break guys everything is too clear now let's see our indicator we're saying our indicator is telling us us we are here at the overbought area level us we are in a very 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 stronger level guys because that level where we are is 2020 high remember that that level here is 20 20 high should we enter short if any candle came and closing below that trend line here yes you can enter a short guys everything is too clear now let's go to see the nasdaq 100 what it's doing today in four hours so let's go in there here we are in the nasdaq 100 in the four hours guys here that one same thing like the sp500 we got here that level here down but that one here it give you here like a smaller flag here like that as you see it that the flag if you came like that and you bring it like that that a very clear flag if any candle came and breaking above that level here that meant more long if any candle came and closing below that level here we need to enter a short and that week you need to be careful guys remember those things we got a very clear flag flag yes but we need to be careful because what it's coming that week it need to make you to be careful now let's see our indicator retain our indicator same like the sp500 we have here that divergence also now we are in the border or the downtrend of the divergence should we enter short not yet my friend or let's see if the market fall down and breaking down here in that level here yes we're going to enter short yes i know some people they are going to tell me also we enter late but we're going to enter in a safe side guys if you want and you are from those people they using smart money concept or the enter from levels or those things you can enter now a short top loss of you is going to be very tight but you got 50 50 percent winning 50 percent lose so even the one you need to put it aside so i think picture is too clear guys here now let's go to see the nasdaq 100 what it's doing today in 30 minutes so let's go in there here we are in 30 minutes guys over here is only for helping and day trading here the nasdaq 100 same like the sp500 look here you came to that low here and the one here you see it or no and in the top you came like that you do it like that like a very clear wage here if any candle came and closing below that level that meant you need to enter a short if any candle came and closing above you need to enter a long guys look at that very 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 clear in front 
about you how to withdraw it we came to the one here the one here the one here top the one here and the one here that the wage guys no matter where it's getting broke inter long or inter short now let's see our indicator retain our indicator as you see it you got here a smaller divergence guys here in 30 minutes me i'm talking should we enter short i just show you if any candle came and closing below the trend line here yes you can enter a short everything is too clear now it's going to see the dex why or us dollar we're doing today so it's going there here we are in the dex why or us dollar guys look at it look at the us dollar what it's telling you here i show you that head and shoulder before here in smaller one that way also we enter along but look at that bigger head and shoulder here look at it how it is that the neckline in front of you so what we need to do if any candle came and closing above that level here we need to enter along guys remember those things very 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 well we got here a very clear head and shoulder here in four hours guys everything is too clear now let's see our indicator retain our indicator is telling us as we are here at the overbought area should we enter short yes you can come and do it like that look at me how i'm going to do it you came to that low here that one and that one and you draw in there a uptrend here in the top you came to that neckline of that head and shoulder and you draw in there a triangle so you're waiting now if any candle came and closing above here that for the long or the short if any candle came and closing below that level that's when you need to enter a short guys everything is too clear now it's going to see dex why or us dollar we're doing today in 30 minutes so it's going there here we are in 30 minutes over here is only for scalping and day trading here in 30 minutes same thing like the the nasdaq 100 you came to that low here and you're drawing like that that uptrend like that and here in the top you came you doing like that a uptrend here and you wait in the break where it's going to be here or down here that if you are a little bit conservative if you are more aggressive you can do like that see it or no you came to the tail of that candle and that one here and you're drawing an uptrend if any candle came and closing below that level here you can enter a short for the long you came to that high here from here and here and you waiting where it's going to be broken if it's breaking up here you can enter more long if it's breaking down here you can enter a short guys everything is too clear now let's see our indicator what it's saying our indicator as you see is it here at the overbought area level as we are in a very stronger level should we enter short i just show you came to that one here like that and you waiting if it's breaking down here you can enter a short if it's breaking above enter more long because at the end of the day that indicator also we don't base our trade on it guys so everything is too clear so that's it for that video and please make sure to support us by just smashing the like button right and down a comment and if you could even share the video you done it thank you very 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 much my friends see you in another video guys bye for now